Hello everybody, this is Moses from Dr. Gardens, and this is episode 6 of Gardening Without Edits. In this episode, I'm going to show you an experiment I did in the winter, this past winter, and I forgot to film it um, with my apple trees on dormancy. Here in California, they don't really go dormant that well, or at all, some varieties, I've noticed. Uh, I have about 10 or so varieties that I've grafted. Let me show you something that was interesting, and I'm debating on doing it or not this year. Let me swing it around. So there's two apple trees. Okay, so last year what I did was I did not defoliate by hand. As you can see, they're still nice, bright, and green. I didn't pull off the leaf on this tree, and I pulled off the leaves on that tree. And there's other trees I have that are apple trees, and there's many grafted varieties on this tree, on all trees, actually. And what happened was when I didn't defoliate, when I didn't pull off the leaves by hand and drop them, what happened was, is it mostly kept all the leaves throughout the whole winter. But what happened was that this tree pushed flowers out two weeks later than normal that I've documented. This, uh, I don't know, they've been in the ground quite some time now. And I always document the time they flowered because, I, because of fire blight. I'm really afraid of fire blight. And I have a lot of problems with uh, June, uh, June bugs or... Um, um, Japanese beetles, actually, Japanese beetles that climb onto these trees and eat out the flowers, you know, because it is related to the rose family and Japanese beetles love roses. So I try to uh, hold off the leaves so it could push the bloom back and it worked. The bloom did get pushed back about two to three weeks than normal and it bypassed the Japanese beetle. The Japanese beetles attacked that tree. Not this one because they were long gone or wherever they went or I, you know, I killed them all or removed them all or the birds came and got them. Uh, but it did work. So it, it did help with the Japanese beetles. So that's a trick you, you want to use if you have uh, Japanese beetles. Happy gardening, everyone.